Hey guys, welcome back. To, um, sorry I haven't been making videos. I just took a couple month break. Uh, you know, my son's starting to walk and crawl and all that fun stuff, so I've been busy chasing him around. So, in this video, uh, I wanted to show you an interesting window manager. It's another uh, manual one. Uh, it's I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but it's called HL Window Manager or uh, Herb Stelluft WM. And as you can see, it's a manual tiling window manager for X11 using Xlib and Glib, so certain libraries. Uh, the cool thing about this is that it's you don't need to know a certain language it's actually all if you ever wanted to learn uh, scripting or bash scripting uh, this would be a perfect um, window manager for you because all of it is with scripts so by default or right out of the box you get just a regular uh, if you have a background I use nitrogen uh, and then the bar up here is Dyson 2 and everything that you see is out of the box so I haven't changed really anything uh, the only things that I did on here is just to get uh, you know D menu and also to get URXVT because out of the box it uses Xterm and uh, to be honest I cannot stand Xterm so but I just wanted to show you what this uh, window manager is all about I've been seeing a lot of screenshots on uh, the Arch <clears throat> Google Plus community and some others on the Linux and stuff like that so it's an again this is a manual window manager that if we open it up again and the mod key is the alt key it'll go back down to here and then I can alternate with using alt and then spacebar so it can go side by side but say I wanted to uh, have a uh, an <clears throat> a terminal down below what you would do is mod u so in HL each one of the boxes you see is a frame and in each frame you can open as many as you want so as you can see this left one over here doesn't change at all so if I go back here and go over here it's just moving the other frame to the side so if I want to go down I would just do J so I'm in a new frame right now and then I can open as many of these as I want so it's interesting uh, compared to say i3 where uh, it just has a mother and a child so it's just one container but you can go and changed it differently. The downside to this, again I tried this a few months ago and didn't really like it as much but I'm giving it a chance right now so so say if I wanted to go take a, a another one and go right I would just use Alt O and then go right and if I wanted to break that down down below I do an Alt U again. So if I wanted to go left I go Alt L and then go U. So you can break this down into as many as you can. Uh, it's not as fluent as i3, but it does have an i3 type of feel. And as you can see, there are gaps in between these which you can change. Uh, from my research of this, uh, this is uh, created in Germany by uh, I don't know his name I couldn't find the name 
but uh, it, this is just a recent new one. So getting back to this, say you have a container and you just want to get rid of it. You just do an Alt-R, Alt-R to remove it, Alt-R, and then Alt-R. So now you're back to this. So say you wanted to uh, put this in uh, full screen mode, you did, like in similar to Awesome and i3, you just do Mod F. And I'll just uh, do glances for this. As you can see, you could show. So, uh, so if we wanted to do a full screen, it uh, you can see the full screen, but you can see the the bar behind it. But say you wanted to float it, you just do a mod S, and then you hold down the mod key, and then with your left mouse key, you can drag it. And I believe you can. Uh, I haven't been able to scale it. So, and if you just want to go back to the regular, you just do mod S. So I was going to show you the um, the configuration file for this. It's uh, just like an i3. It's pretty simple to read this. Uh, I have it as an alias, so I'm just going to open up. So, as you can see here. Uh, this is all in bash so right here is the mod key so you can change it and it just tells you uh, exactly the what it does and then if you want to use the super key you would just uh, un comment this and comment that out and then the these are the two things that I changed so you have HC key bind and then your mod key and then whatever key you want and then you're gonna spawn this and then say D menu underscore run and then the other things that I changed was I did to close I did Q and to close out everything uh, is C um, so they have the similar uh, key bindings as in awesome window manager so just keep going down. So to focus the clients are very similar to, um, so you can use your up and down arrows or you can use some of the Vim uh, keybinds too. So it would be H to go left, J down, K right, or up, and then L right. So it's if you can just think about, you know, going left on a clock, uh, that would probably be the best way. And then to move clients would be mod shift. So if we have multiple, I would just do say we chat on this side. And I wanted to move it to the left. I just do mod shift and then H. So you can flip between these two, or you can flip them between the arrow keys also. So let me close that program. And then to split, this is the splitting of the frames. So you can change these. You can you know modify them as much as you want. So the U is to split to the bottom, and O is to the right. And then this is the how much it's splitting it. So it's splitting it by half. And then you can resize each frame also. So say I have this one on the right and I want to make it a little bit uh, make the left side smaller I would just do mod control and then H uh, let me see here let's split here so say I wanted this right side a little bit bigger so I would highlight it and then I would go mod control H and then as you can see and then mod control L to move to the right and then you can if if you had um, frames cutting at half you can go vertical too so we'll just remove that and yeah, let's remove that 
So it comes with uh, so the removing of each of the panels. So you can go full screen and then the P. So if you do mod P, it goes not in floating mode because you can't move it, but it does go into a smaller screen. Or as you can see, it's uh, called PSEU DO tile. And then here are the themes. So this whole thing up here, these are the bar, uh, the Dyson bar, and then the frame underscore background slash active colors is, uh, let me see here, it would be this black bar right here. So I'm on the other, so it by default it's green, and I don't like the color green, so. And then you can have certain rules, so if you have GIMP open, it will go into, um, you can make it into floating mode, or if you say you want, uh, if you open, say, Firefox, it will automatically go into the first workspace. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, everything you can do in i3. And then in paneling here, the panel uh, is what is shown here. So I have another, uh, we'll go into that panel, show you what that looks like. And then panel. Uh, okay, that's in Etsy, XDG, Herb, and then panel. So here's the panel, and again, it's in Bash. So everything that you see here. So what we can show here is the date, which would be right here on uh, line 120. So you say the right-hand side of the bar. You want the separator, which is the yellow bar here and then showing the date and then another separator so the date will <clears throat> excuse me the date will include the time and the current date and then as you can see the current date is highlighted in white and the current time is highlighted in white and that's uh, can be controlled in the main I believe it's in the main um, configuration file. I believe it's somewhere in here. Um, but that I, I've been on this for a few days now and I'm liking it. I am trying to theme it and configure it just to show my battery because I am on a laptop and to show some icon themes just like in my i3 and also get a standalone tray or trayer up here so I can see uh, if I'm connected to a Wi-Fi or if I go to another location and I have to connect to another Wi-Fi it's just so much simpler than going to uh, like a program like WICD so I will probably still be on here for like a good week I'm gonna try to get some help on it and look at other configuration files but I suggest if you're wanting to learn uh, bash scripting this is a good way to start and I say check it out so uh, I will I'm going to also try to do some uh, upcoming distro reviews so like the new Ubuntu is coming out the new LTS and stuff like that so I have some more plans on this channel and I will see you guys in the next video